thousands of hours of work. So I got talking to Rudy about some of the work that I've done on the front and he thinks that we should cut it out and start over. I agree with him. So today you're gonna see us replace the front frame rails and a few other things. There's only four more wells. What are you talking about, Randy? What did I miss? So I built a majority of them, or maybe all of them while you're gone. Welded them in, welded these brackets completely in, finished oh, no. welding these in, finished welding these in, and now just recently welded Paul, all those. We completely re-engineered the front. Yeah, we completely re-engineered the front end. That's gonna get bombed in right there. Nice. So I need it welded and welded. Do it like flush with the back? Yeah, tight, tight tuck it in there. Um, we're, our limiting strap's gonna hang off of this. Okay. So when you're done with that, we're gonna put another one right underneath it. This is your patterns for this. Um, I would put this in before you put the bottom piece. Anyway, that'll keep you very busy and I'll be back right there. Um, I had a question or an answer. Here's this bolt. I need this bolt, probably from Tractor Supply or Ace. Schultzen's doesn't have grade 8s. I want a grade 8, but it needs to be this long because this one was too long, remember? Andy, I found something for you. What? Oh, thank you. Here you go. <laughs> I've been looking for those. Put your seatbelt's on. Good morning, Rowdy. Good morning. I'm here to pester you. What's going on? Um, we are building. So we just buy a lot of stuff from you until we have enough parts to build it. That is the worst. In our shop? I thought these came in a box. They've got a lineup of trucks, and they also have to cut this out of the tube steel. They have to cut it out of 40 footers. Oh. And so it's going to be a minute. Do you want me to give you a call and have you come back and get it, or do you want to wait? Yeah. Supposed to be ASMR or something. <laughs> Wasn't. Good. Could you twist that down? Like so. That's pretty good. Good enough. I'm trying to feel this welder still. Every welder seems to be a little bit different and the settings seem to be different on every one of them. So I'm trying to get a good groove to make him strong and look pretty because I like pretty welds, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'm still trying different patterns. The last two you were doing circles. Yeah. We're gonna leave this structure here because it's actually important. Yeah. But we're gonna cut it flat, probably cut it perfectly flat with this frame on both sides and then plate it all together. Okay. Hey, hey, take I have a question for you. That chocolate bar in the fridge yeah. from Colorado. It's mom's. If you weld good, I'll let you have a piece of it. <laughs> Have I been welding good? Look at this. Colorado. We, we know. So we had an awesome fan bring this Colorado, this Colorado uh, scripted chocolate. And Rudy wants a bite of it really bad, but I want Jamie to have a bite of it first. Randy, you want a shot? Sure. Oh, I burned holes all over the place, Rudy. Oh, oh. Why is it doing that? I was putting the heat in that and it was melting away still. Put too much into it. We'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you do this over here? It was too wide, so it was getting too hot, so I kept blowing through. And so I slowed down, and you can like, just on off, on off, and just build kind of a bridge. Oh. You pause long enough for the previous bridge to cool, and then you go across it again, and it'll be hot again, and it'll be too hot to go back over, so you pause, 
and then once it's ready, you can go back over it again. The pool, from when you're pausing, you can pull across it. So there's going to be three pieces of metal. There's going to be this metal, and then the metal that bends up, and then a flat piece right here. But before we put this flat piece in, we need to run our verticals up. Yeah. And then um, on these verticals, um, this middle, um, I would run, you probably only need to run four, but give me like 13 inches right here, or 12 inches or something like that. Okay. Good job, Lizzie. Thank you. I just have to do it slowly. I don't know what y'all want to do, but... <laughs> I know. He just told us the last load is crane broke and it's going to be about an hour to get it fixed. Uh, yeah, this is our third trip to Schultz's today. It is not going to be the last. <laughs> I think we can load everything by hand except maybe the steel sheet. We can probably get that. Yeah, we, we're probably not going to get that quarter inch plate. That's a heavy. Maybe if we get Lizzie to help us. <laughs> She's super strong. <laughs> I guess we have to pull forward now. So we're gonna get in the truck. Start her up. We're just gonna go neutral. That should do it. That's too heavy for you. <laughs> I guess I'm the tough one around here. <laughs> Carry one of these, you can have a job. <laughs> this is what happens when Schultz's crane is down, because we wouldn't have done any of that if we had a crane. It would all be crane. Oh, down. yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you very much, man. What did you do? You broke it. You got to back it in the shop, Lizzie. Uh-oh. <laughs> that might be a mistake. I can't even see the trailer. It's not long enough. That's when we know the trailer's too short. I can't even see it. I would be like... You want me Up to here. do it? Sure. <laughs> I forgot the little go kart was there. <laughs> it's a little shorter than I thought. I admit. I know. So the crane broke on the job right before us. <laughs> can you come back in an hour? And I'm like, can we just load it by hand? <laughs> So we only killed three people. Right. <laughs> we just brought a lot of weight to add to this. Yep. <laughs> yep. This come thing's going to be over 5,000 pounds. Bigger tires will make up for the 1,000 pounds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and 500 horsepower. Thousands of hours of work. Why is this not happening? No, it isn't. So what we originally did is the front frame rail, which wasn't nearly significant enough to carry this motor. We started plating it, reinforcing it, ended up getting too kludge it even for me. So we're taking it out and starting over. There you go. You got it. Okay, we kind of need to copy that. Do you think that's going to be a good enough pattern? Yes. That's all original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to cut this much of the original off anyway. But I worked hard to put it back together, but I'm sorry. It's garbage. It's just garbage. That's what we're trying to make. So, do you think you can do it with pie cuts? Mm -hmm. Okay. We just jumped into a pool here. Like this has to go right. Because I don't want to modify it after we build it. I think we'll be okay. Perfect. Help. 
Is yours level or is it twisted? Uh, it's twisted right now. How did those twists? We worked hard not to twist them. Hold it off the frame like three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna push it into that back metal so it can't slide. Is that pretty good? Yeah. Okay, tell me when I'm level in the front. This thing is just floating in space and wherever we put it is where it goes. Yeah, your steering pin is way off right now, which makes your tire move funny. This one seems more awkward shape than the first one. If it rubs, It'll only once be... in a while. I'm That's perfect. Completely happy. That literally is your foot. <laughs> I can move the metal. I mean, have you seen what we did back here? Yeah, I can move the metal. Okay, let's pull it out and see if, the, if, we, if there's a way to get the twist out of it. I think these compound angles are what is what is twisting us. Maybe your eyeball is off. Because it looks fairly good there. It's not. Do we have enough to make two of these if we don't make make mess up? I don't know the answer to that. We might be buying another stick of this though. Everybody close your eyes. It fits. It's taller. I like this a lot. I know it's gonna be fine. There's a lot of elevation drop right there. This is gonna go to the right there. Close day. This tells me that my elevation is perfect. I know I'm not hitting the end of this with the tire, but am I hitting this with the tire? Whew. So that was a long day and it was hard. I think these front frame rails were the right way to go. The other one was getting so kludged and convoluted. It was just not gonna work. So hopefully we can meet our target date of having this done by January 1st, 2021.